My name is Chef David. I'm here today at Starks, and today we're going to talk about how to cut cantaloupe uh, efficiently, safely, uh, and hopefully um, talk about some knife skills, proper way to hold a knife. <clears throat> Just go ahead and dive right into it. So these cantaloupes here, they have been washed, scrubbed, dried. We're going to start with cutting the ends off. Now before I get started, we're going to talk about how to hold a knife. So this is our 10 inch chef's knife. Most are comfortable with using this. And this is more of kind of the home style way to cook. It's okay, but it, it's very dangerous whenever you're cutting back towards you. And also, um, it's just not very efficient. And we'll talk, we'll, once you see how to properly cut the cantaloupes, you'll see once you start getting more comfortable with it, either a 10 inch or eight inch chef knife, how this would be your new best friend. <clears throat> so to start, we're gonna trim off the edges, the ends. We'll stand it up. We'll have a little vessel over here to put our trash in. Next, we're gonna trim off, just like you would a pineapple, cut down around the cantaloupe, down to the green. Not too much, but enough to where you're, you're, you're trimming off all that green part of the cantaloupe. And whenever, you're, whenever you get cantaloupes in, you'll make sure that they're good and sweet, that they're nice and, and uh, not too soft, slightly firm. Uh, you, they smell like a cantaloupe. You can pick one up and smell it. That's how you know that they're good and ripe and ready to eat. So we'll clear our table. <clears throat> so, you, so starting off, peeling your cantaloupe. Next step, what I would do actually, if I'm doing a whole case of these, I may do this step first. I may take five or six or even a whole case of cantaloupes and do this step before I move into the next one. Next is real easy. Splitting it in half. And I suggest using a spoon with a, a big edge like this, something that you can cut down into the cantaloupe. Simply move it around and scrape it off. Done. I'll bring it over here. Some will use a melon baller and try to scoop it out. I find it best to have something with kind of a sharp edge to be able to cut down into it and simply cut off the cantaloupe. Now for the last step, you want to turn the cantaloupes over. Start with cutting it lengthwise. You want to do about <clears throat> a half inch, turning it, and then simply running a knife through the other way. And that is it, you're done. See it again, lengthwise, turn, and run your knife through. Perfectly cut cantaloupe. From there, we would cup it up, serve it up for the day. Thank you. So you have more control with the knife the further you go back so if you start with more of the heel of the knife rather than the, the tip so start back here and then kind of let the knife almost like slice let the knife go around the outside of it as if you were like to paint a picture and you're coming down with your hands. yeah let me show you one quick so if you were to start right here uh -huh. okay yeah. the knife do the work Okay, let it work for you. So start and slice it down mm -hmm. and around, just like that, okay. perfect. Okay. Got it. 
God, it smells so good. That is, this is a good cantaloupe. It's crazy, I can just, I can smell it here. Can you smell it? Mmm, it's so good. Get in there all the way around and then kind of let it scoop them out. Uh, and I like more of the shorter one because I can kind of, mm -hmm. but that long handle makes it a little bit difficult. But if you hold it up closer to it, it'll make it easier. So, this part, whenever you're laying it down flat, start with it lengthwise. So, starting with it like this, there you go. Let the knife Good. let it slice through it. It's as if you were pushing it like that. It's like you don't even hear it. It's just you feel that? perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see it. And then that thing, keep the tip of your knife down and just like, like the, mm -hmm. uh, the side of the train, like the locomotive, okay. you know? That's pretty yeah, that's great. It takes a little bit, it's a little uncomfortable at first, but um, it takes just a little practice. Just kind of yeah. just doing it without anything there. Great, great, great.